Welcome back. I'm Veronica Centron. The benefit of a self-driving car, sure it's cool, but it's also practical for some. A new report says that the technology will put people to work. And Bay News 9's Chuck Henson says it could put some folks behind the wheel who wouldn't get there otherwise. Can you imagine something like this allowing two million people to work? Well, according to a report from the Boston-based Ruderman Foundation, that's exactly what will happen when self-driving cars are on our streets. Who are those people? They're people like Michael Delancey. Michael lost the use of his legs after an injury in the military. Well, I tell you, when I first got injured, um, I had to rely on like other people to drive me around. It was sort of a pain in the neck because you, know, you got to be conscientious of their schedule and things like that. The ability to get to work for the disabled, it is a struggle. Could self-driving cars end that struggle? Christina Kopich with the Ruderman Foundation says yes. Reliable transportation in this case, which could be brought on by autonomous vehicles, self-driving cars, is essential to fully integrate people with disabilities into society. The study says that 20% of our citizens are disabled. That means they don't have access to transit and transportation, including things like public transportation. Michael is lucky. He got a specialized set of wheels, but he, like so many others, would immediately benefit from a car that drives itself. To be honest, that'd definitely be a big benefit because I've seen gentlemen that are blind. I've seen ladies that are full on handicapped. You know, I've used my hands so I can still grip the hand controls, but people like that, they really can't, they still have to rely on somebody to drive. And that autonomous vehicle, they still know the roads better than I do, but they'd be able to just plug it right in and go. Christina wants car makers to think about who they can serve before these cars hit the road and to develop the technology in a way that includes everyone. In Pinellas County, Chuck Henson, Bay News 9. Chuck has posted more information about the study in the link in his story on baynews9.com.